Welcome back to KMLT First News at 10. Well, the weather outside is frightful, but it didn't stop the top eight teams in District 8 girls basketball from taking over the court at the Minot Auditorium. Some schools were five to ten minutes away. Others traveled as far as an hour to get to the Magic City. Let's start off with the late game that just ended tonight. This matchup was the one that was already set up in the quarterfinals. Lewis and Clark Berthold facing Mohal Lansford Sherwood. Pick up the action early on. Bombers good ball movement gets the Casey Simons in the corner who finds all nylon on the three. Now the Mavericks looking to counter on the other end. Here's Jasmine Unwin finding Jamie Thompson in the paint. Jamie gets the easy layup for two. Berthold back with it now. The inbounder is going to find a wide open Shane Simons in the corner. She's going to drain the three. Nothing but net again. Number four would beat number five in the final game of the night. The Bombers would be moving on to the semifinals. The number one overall seed in District 8, our Redeemers got the win over number eight, Harvey Wells County. The Knights' Maya Vibeto led all scorers with 23 points. Teammate Caden Braun recorded 19. Now, we were unable to get game highlights, but we did get post-game reaction from senior Leah Conway on what propelled the Knights to tonight's win. What do you think was the, the key to winning this first round game? Yeah, um, for sure. I think we pushed the ball well. Um, we worked as a team. Um, yeah, just got those open looks. And a big upset was brewing in the first game of the day as Bishop Ryan faced off with number two Surrey. Late in the fourth, Ryan up on Surrey. Mustangs trying to charge back though. Morgan Anderson finds a lane for two to cut it to four. And then moments later, Surrey gets the rebound. Quick pass to Anderson who gets the fast break and suddenly it's a two point game. The fall game is kicking in here. Toshi Udekwe would get one of two bonus free throws and then a defensive stand here for Bishop Ryan. Udekwe avoiding fouling Surrey and then they force the jump ball, clinching the win for the Bishop Ryan Lions. Number seven Ryan gets the three point win. They move on to tomorrow's semifinal. I caught up with Toshi after the game on how they pulled off the upset. It definitely showed how formed our team is and how disciplined we are and how our talking really gets us places because in the first half we were kind of down on talking and in the second half we really picked it up and we were together. Now Surrey not out of it though for a chance at regionals. They'll be playing in the consolation tomorrow afternoon. In the late afternoon game, the three seed TGU Titans taking on six seed Velva. Titans wasted no time in scoring. Ashley Martyrdom drives, then kicks it out to Sophie Bachmeyer, who drains the three. Velva countering right away. Natalie Necheparenko scoring so quickly, I, I almost didn't hit record on my camera fast enough. Titans back with the ball. Martyrdom's driving again this time. She's keeping it for herself and gets the nice floater to fall. The Aggies with it now. The kick out to Kaylee Tomlinson near the baseline, who's going to hit the mid range jump shot here. The Titans would end up pulling away in the end, though. This game going final uh, just before our uh, 6 o'clock newscast. TGU moves on to the winner's bracket. Well, the weather didn't stop District 7 from kicking off its girls' tournament today. We have a few local teams competing. Let's head out to Williston State College as District number one seed Kenmer Bobells faced off with Williston Trinity Christian. Early on, Libby Smith is going to drive and stops and pops and nails the floater. Trinity Christian gets on the board. But here comes the Honkers. Mashea Miller knocking down a long three ball right there. Honkers would be putting the press on it. Produces the turnover. Anna Peterson is going to get the loose ball here. She's going to drive and gets the score. The kiss off the backboard. Uh, pressure continues. Mashea Miller once again here good from three point uh, well, the rebound. She gets the rebound there and puts it in for the two pointer. Uh, the number one seed Honkers, they're too much for Trinity Christian tonight. They roll into the semifinals for the winner's bracket for District 7. Now we are going to bring you coverage of the uh, semifinals as well as the loser out games in District 8 tomorrow as well as updates from District 6, 7 and 8 going on all across our region tomorrow shaping up to be a